Whoa. Hey, y'all. Happy Wednesday. It's hump day. Uh, you know. Would you say I'm more level three or level four? On the one hand, we have level three. Nivio toi, balanced, smooth, full flavor. Equilibre, harmonio, et plein de Also, apparently, expired. Does coffee expire? Huh. On the other hand, level four. Nivio quatre. Rich, elegant, complex. Rich, elegant, complet. Two ounces. It only takes two ounces of grounds to make an entire pot of coffee. I'll be honest with you. I have no idea what the difference is. Perhaps if I went to CLsBest.com, they could help me out. i got to put these back. Someone's going to miss them. Uh, it's 5.19 p.m. That means I've been here nearly 10 hours. I don't know why. Actually, I do know why. I'll complain about that in a minute. It's 52 degrees. I didn't realize it at the time, but driving to work, it was about 35. Still in shorts. I don't know any better. It's supposed to get back into the 60s again, though, so... I don't know. I'm, I'm in denial. Forever summer. We are in fall. I am running the furnace. But it's comfortable enough in the office. Except my hands are always, my hands always seem to be blood free. My extremities are not getting uh, warm. What's the temperature in here? I don't know. My thermometer says 74, it's usually a bit high, so that probably means it's 72 in here. But they locked the office next door where the therm thermostat is, so I'm at their mercy. But I have a lot of computers in here heating up the place, just not very well, I guess. But when you get here at 7.30, man, I'm telling you, there's nothing worse than showing up at 7.30, only to sit around and wait until 8.30 for the presentation to start because they either canceled or somebody couldn't figure out how to turn on the webcast screen sharing nonsense. Thankfully that's over this week. I should be good and late tomorrow as a result. There will be sleeping in. I don't think I have a single meeting. Oh no, I do have one meeting tomorrow, which may get canceled. I just have a front-loaded week. Today I had three different one-hour meetings, and they were all about the same thing. And I don't know why I was in any of them, really. One of them, one of them was with a vice president. And I'm not sure he knew what I did. Fortunately, he's not watching this, so I can, I can tell you that now. But I, I don't know, man. I'm pretty sure we're going to keep doing what we've been doing. And hopefully whatever results they're looking for will majestically materialize or someone will massage the statistics to make it appear that they have, but I don't know, man. Problem with spending one, two, three, four, five of your eight hours in meetings is you're only left for three hours to do the stuff you're supposed to be doing rather than having meetings talking about what you're going to do. This is the glamorous life I lead, kids, but pays the bills. So better that than writing about wrestling for nothing. I know you really wanted me to write about wrestling. Some people think I'm the dean of the IWC. Have you heard that? It's tough being the dean when you don't write or write anything. And I still have uh, that concept that I need to flesh out and tell you all about, but by the time I get home, I'm going to fall asleep. I know this because it happened yesterday. I got home. And I tried watching the news, 
And I got through the national news, I think. But I didn't really get through the local news. And by the time it was 7 o'clock, I had given up, turned the TV off, and just fell asleep. And slept hard enough to have a dream, which made it, would have made a good movie, except uh, I've already forgotten it. But when I got up, it was 11. And of course that meant I was awake till 2.33 when once again I had to get up at 6.30. I did not. I, I got up late, and I wasn't here on time. But you know what? You can be 15 minutes late when the presentation's one hour late. Nonetheless, it's still going on 10 hours here, and there's no reason for that. I need to work from home. I have a laptop. It is portable. But the reason I keep it here is because I have some giant monitors. I mean, you've seen my setup. It's pretty sweet. Actually, you probably don't care about any of this stuff, right? Um, look, 23 days until opening day at Target Center. Tonight, the Timberwolves uh, have their first preseason game at the Fargo Dome in beautiful Fargo, North Dakota. A metropolis if you've ever seen one. Such a metropolis that the game is not televised. They're playing the Pacers. I wonder if the Pacers are taking anyone up to North Dakota. Probably not. Otherwise, it would probably be available on uh, one of NBA TV's preseason deals. I don't even know if they started those up yet. I hope we still get NBA TV. I'll have to check. Sure, we're paying for everything. I'm sure we get it. But after the Summer League, there just wasn't anything to watch. Again, even if it were on, I'd probably be sleeping during it, so. Was there anything I was supposed to answer? James is jealous of the walk light. James, you don't know the half of it, because we didn't actually get the one I showed you. Uh, the guy showed us a full-on walk-don't-walk, a, a two-bulber, and we watched him wire it up in front of us and put in a new light bulb, and it lights up both of them at the same time. But I can go to Radio Shack and get a switch to probably fix that, but I'm not very electrically inclined. But yeah, and I promised a couple days ago I was going to take an Instagram of it to show it to you, and I forgot. But it's sitting on the freezer in the basement. It was like the perfect amount of space between the freezer and the top of the uh, first floor floor. Yeah, I at least got to go downstairs and take a picture and share it with you. But it, it's super cool. And I wanted it so much, but I would not buy it out of deference to my wife. But my wife, knowing how much I wanted it, did buy it for me for an anniversary present, which made it one of the greatest anniversary presents ever. It's going to be hard to top for the 10th anniversary for sure. Something new for me on YouTube, I finally figured out that I had to approve something before I could monetize my videos. So for the 10 people that watch this thing, if you're seeing ads down here, I apologize, but it's something I turned on to see what would happen. And I don't expect to get any pennies out of it, but I'm kind of curious to see what comes up. One of the weird things about YouTube is they try to recommend tags for you. And mine always come up vlog, wrestling, funny, and I don't know where they get any of these things. And I don't what kind of sophisticated algorithms they're using, but I kind of want to see what ads show up now. So if you see an ad, please feel free to let me know what it is. Uh, I wouldn't expect you to click on it, though. Although I make it a penny if you do. But you're not supposed to encourage people to click on ads, so I'm certainly not doing that. Just one of those things that, to keep in mind. Uh, my time is up. Oh, I was going to talk politics, too. Nuts. I'll talk politics tomorrow. Uh, if you have any questions for me, as usual, you can hit me up in the usual spaces, the usual places, Facebook, Twitter, The W, uh, links to all these places, CRZ.net. And until tomorrow, I am uh, CRZ, so we're all going to have to deal with that for one more day. Thanks for watching.